on this one occasion, we were going down road, uh, it was our platoon, and we marched about eight feet apart, so if somebody threw a grenade in the ranks, it wouldn't kill that many of us. And uh, this Sergeant Ferguson that I had mentioned earlier, uh, he was leading the platoon, and there was sugar cane about five feet high on each side of the road. And he just, he just whirled and fired, and about <clears throat> 10 or 12 feet away, just after he fired, we heard this thud of an explosion and uh, pieces of blood and guts and pieces of meat just kind of landed all down over us. And what had happened, he saw a Japanese raise up to throw a grenade over in our ranks and he turned and fired. And the Japanese fell on his grenade and that's what blew him up. <clears throat> and so we, we went on up about a half a mile and there was this a dry irrigation canal coming down and uh, there was another willow hanging out over the dry canal and uh, just before we got to the willow bush sergeant fergie fired again it was high grass this time about uh, three feet high on each side of the road well he in that grass along the side of the road he saw some black hair of a person scrunched down real low and he turned and fired and it turned out that it was a woman and he fired right down through the top of her head and it came out her left cheek and blew out a big hole in her cheek but if he didn't know it was a woman or he probably wouldn't have killed her but immediately after that two big Japanese soldiers were running down this uh, canal dry canal and of course they were both killed immediately so we went on and we went down under this willow bush exploring and we came to a cave about four foot in diameter and the rule was if you came to a cave and it had flies flying around the mouth of it uh, you'd know it was occupied and so we had an okinawan that was uh, sympathetic to our cause he was we could trust him so we sent him in to try to talk whoever was in there to come out, surrender and come out. <clears throat> and so it was about, oh, I don't think it was 10 minutes, but it was quite a while. And uh, finally, an old grandma and a little, about a nine-year-old girl came out with their hands up. And uh, the little girl was handing me this little doll. And I, I made a motion like I didn't want it, and she, she insisted. So I took the little doll, and uh, so we, uh, we sent them to a, a holding area where they could be repatriated. Uh, but... Uh, Thinking back on it, it was probably a whole family that was wiped out that day because uh, the lady that was shot in the top of the head was probably the mother, the grandmother was her mother and the little granddaughter and probably the two soldiers that were running were probably her sons. So war is, war is hell on not only the, the soldiers and the Marines but also family members also.